So you can't come to the Lake District without looking at some waterfalls. I don't know whether it's 65 foot or 65 meters in total. Snow in the winter. It's so much clearer than what the weather said it was going to be. I can, I can see for miles. That mountain there has already got snow on it. It's like minus what? 25? <laughs> That's enough of that. Let's go. We've just pulled up at this little village called Glen Riding. Mm. We did pull up down the road at this really lovely little park off. Why couldn't we stay there? No Wi Fi. No Wi-Fi, so we can't possibly manage without any Wi-Fi. I could. <laughs> I said we could manage without yeah. Wi-Fi, we could play dominoes or do something or... Oh, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you said, no YouTube videos I want to watch. Have done that walk, but also we're getting into bed, ready for our... Rock and roll. We're so rock and roll. <laughs> we're so old. Uh. Ready for our Zub Zero adventure in the morning. It is very, very cold and where we're going it's going to be very, very cold. So, we'll check you in the morning, guys. Morning. Bye. We ended up here, this little place called Glen Riding. Cute, cute little place. Um, we're going a lot higher than there. And that mountain there has already got snow on it. It's like minus what, 25? <laughs> it's cold, look, 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 look at the snow, look at the ice on the front of the van. Look. Oh, it's, it's pretty, uh, <laughs> it's pretty cold. It's, it's like really, really cold. Come on, let's get walking, so let's warm let's, up. Yeah, let's go. I'm always in bloom for you Always in bloom Always in bloom for you She's after a little, uh, little property to get your teeth into The old green side mine It's for sale Apparently they're just skiing here Hovelin and cats to come in the distance. Dusting in the snow already. Looks lovely. So, he said our hovelin was hard. I'm quite liking this path. It's not strenuous at all. <laughs> it's pretty good, little concrete path, look. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> Famous last words. So, if you've uh, ever heard about anything about hovelin, normally you hear about striding edge. Or if you don't hear about striding edge, then you hear about uh, going up from Thirlmere because that's the easiest side but we're taking a different route today we've come up from Glen Ridden still but we're going to go up towards the right of Swirl Path and Striding Path up the old uh, Miners track I think we're going to go up to Rays across to I think it's Lower Man then up to Helvelin Nethermost Pike and then maybe yeah probably back down Swirl Edge and then up uh, Cats to Cam and back down so it's about 17 kilometers thousand meters hopefully we should have hit five wainwrights but it cuts out going up striding edge because it's pretty icy today uh, so we just didn't want to get up there and then not be able to get up there and then have to come back down or it'd just be pretty dangerous so we're uh, going to take a different route up and tackle striding edge in the summer but uh, actually this should be really nice already it's looking absolutely stunning it's very alpine when you, uh, when you come down this valley, it reminds me a lot of Alpine, Alpine hikes, but uh, this should be real nice. I'll tell you what, for November, near the end of November, nearly December, it's beautiful. It's cold, but the colors, this time of year, you don't get all the, obviously the green on the trees, but because you get a lot of pine trees and uh, some of the leaves are still on, you get all the browns and the golds and the reds. Absolutely beautiful. And we've got a sunrise. And we've got a sunrise. So when you're coming along following the stream, the stream a little bit above it, you'll come to a junction. And it's a Helvelin for Whiteside. When you turn off there, you've got about 1.7, 1.8K to, uh, to near the ridge where you can either turn right 
to go to Ray's or left to go to Helvlin. And this 1.7 is pretty, pretty steep. <laughs> I know you're all crying out some fun facts about Helvlin. <laughs> Apparently it's the third highest in the Lake District and England after Scafell and Scarfell. And it's surprisingly, I didn't realize, the 343rd in the whole of the British Isles. So I'm guessing a lot of those are in Scotland and Wales. But it was voted the second most popular in the whole of Great Britain, the Hovling climb after Snowdon. So I'm not sure who votes for that, but I maybe wouldn't put Snowdon at the top. But <laughs> <laughs> sorry to all you Snowdon lovers out there. But uh, it's, um, yeah, 334 and third tallest in the lakes and England. Fun facts over. It's a long time since I've been in snow. Feels weird crunching underfoot. So we're just heading up to Ray's. And uh, surprisingly, Ray's doesn't mean high, as in lifted high or lifted up. I think it actually means cairn. It's an old Norse word. My Norse is a bit rusty, but I'm pretty sure it means cairn, pile of rocks or something like that. If you know what Ray's means, oh, you've got the proper translation of it then leave it in the comments below always hear me for better words bound again. so when you get about five and a half k in you come to a little junction it's hard to see in the snow here but you can carry on up across the Helvelin ridge up there or you carry on up to Ray's here we're gonna go up to Ray's just because then we've ticked off another Wainwright but you can carry straight on. One thing I will say is, it's bloody cold <laughs> this time of year. Just getting up to this little bit of elevation. I just took my glove off to uh, hold the camera and it's starting to get cold. But it's really nice to have crunchy snow underfoot. And the views are just stunning. My faults, thought our castles of sand were made with sand. The tide of the ocean And we Got Blinkatra over there And Keswick and Sistelmia down here the water And then we're going over to Halvlin over there in a minute Proper nice little peak this Gotta keep the uh, strength up <laughs> Fruit bread and green tea That's it, fruit bread so much snow. I thought there'd just be a covering at the top. It's actually really quite deep. So this is white side and he stands at 863 metres. Um, but we're not stopping here. We're going up there to Halvalin. Let's go. So I get down on my knees. So when you drop down from white side, it's uh it's quite a drop down because even the snow disappears. But then you start to climb back up. Is it Little Man, Kaz? I can't remember what the next one's called. I think it's called Little Man or... And then, then you go across to Helvelin. Just to fall and we get past lower man you start to see the, the other track and if you were coming up from Thirlmere instead of Glen Ridden that's the way you'd come up there up Thirlmere and then you come up to here well, we're gonna crack on so we want to go up there it's Helvelin I think that's out Windermere and I think that one there is Coniston I think Really clear. It's supposed to be low cloud cover today, I'm sure. It's just stunning. The Windermere is just like a sea of gold. Beautiful. So we came all the way up there. So this is the track that we came up from. Um, we're going to go up 
trig point at Halverlin, but it's a bit deceitful because actually that's the top. This isn't actually quite the top. So we've just got to get up there to the top of Halverlin and then we'll have done it. Really, look at all the water in the background. It was dead pretty today, isn't it? Tarn down there. Beautiful. And then you got, I think that's nethermost, is it, or something like that? Here we I think but it's like minus four or five. It's really, really cold. I've I might just, just swap hands when I'm eating my pasta. I've just <laughs> literally took my gloves off to eat my sandwich and I'm not even going to keep eating my crisps because my hands are so cold I need to put my gloves back on. But, Alvalin. Done it. Smashed it in the snow, in the winter. It's so much clearer than what the weather said it was going to be. I can, I can see for miles. I can just see for 40 miles. Yeah, it's incredible. Oh, Look at that view. So, cup of tea, quick bite to eat. And then we're going back down. So we've got a few options up here. We've come up past um, the copper mines, but we could go down. We were going to go down Swirl and cast a can or stride in, but it's actually pretty slippy on the snow. So I think Swirl will be okay because it's not so keen. But um, we'll, uh, I think we'll, we'll go back down past the mines, I think, and then we'll tackle Swirl and stride in. In the spring? Yeah. Oh, good. So we've got how many rain rides from today then? So Rays. Because we were going to do. Don't think Lower Man, I don't think Lower Man is a, is a rain ride. So we've done Helvelin and Rays. That's it. That's good. Two ticked off. Let's go. Let's head back down. I tell you what, we're proper dropped on with the weather today. Just on our way back down now. And when you look, I've got wind muff on the camera, but it's. Oh, it's snowing. It is, it's snowing. There is literally no, no wind at all. It's and so it's just started, you won't pick it up on the camera, but it's just started to flutter with snow as well. Oh, look. Absolutely beautiful. Tiny, tiny little snowflakes. <laughs> Lovely. Ah, I love the Lake District. It's beautiful. That's enough of that soppy stuff. Let's go. So you can't come to the Lake District without looking at some waterfalls. And we're going to one of the biggest waterfalls right now. I reckon this one's huge and hopefully this time of year because there's a little bit of rain about it'll be pretty swollen as well. Impressive, isn't it? Look how many litres comes down that. 